Cubs fans, they were hoping to get one of the top four shortstops on the market. Well, Jed Hoyer, he went out and got him. Nico Horner, Dansby Swanson, quite possibly the best double play combo in all of baseball. We got newly signed <laughs> Gold Glover, Dansby Swanson, and Gold Glover finalist, and Nico Horner to my left. So, hey, we're going we're gonna to spread out a little bit and just sort of show some of y'all mechanics as far as just, you know, fees, where you like the ball coming across the back. I was never a middle infield, obviously. I played the corner and the outfield, so I didn't have to think about some of this stuff. Yeah. But it is interesting how y'all go about y'all business just as far as, you know, getting yourselves acclimated with being around the bag and switching the sides and stuff like that. So we're going we're gonna to throw a couple balls. Y'all loose. Yeah, Don't we're get good. me in trouble. We're good. We're good. You know what I'm saying? So obviously ground ball. And then when I go to flip, my biggest thing is a firm feed to essentially, if I'm going to my left more right. forehand, I'm aiming more back corner where he's gonna kind of like present more of his chest to me. So that way he can make a quicker turn. And then if I, if it's one of those things where I get around the ball and I'm kind of at this angle, it's more of the angle towards more of the front side of the bag Is that because he would come through Okay. on, depending on like, if I'm getting around the ball and I catch it and I'm going to feed, this angle is a little bit better for him to get the ball quicker. Got it. Because the, the the quickest thing is if I get the ball to him fast, then he can get it to first base. Now, you're, you're a guy that likes to come across the base or you kind of like push off that from the... Yeah, I've always set up left foot on the back side, expecting a ball kind of on the left side of my chest, but from this place, I can go to anywhere. Got it. Um, taking my right leg and my chest to wherever the ball is and you know, if you're in a place where you can catch the ball in the middle of your body, you can make a lot of different feeds feel very routine and, you know, exp uh, easy to turn the, the perfect feed and then being ready for anything else that comes your way. Low low throw, high yeah. throw, whatever the case yeah. may be. Uh, Got you. Now, what about what about your backhand uh, glove side when, you hit, when you're coming up, when you have to throw yeah, up your Yeah, when I'm actually leg. throwing. Right. Um, so I'm, I'm more of a guy, you know, there's some guys that they catch and they kind of go to a knee. Yeah. I'm more of a... If I'm doing that, I like to catch the ball on the right side of my body, which is a little bit like taboo. Um, but I like to catch the ball on the right side of my body. And I've, I was always taught, you know, since I was a little kid of throw it from where you catch it. So I like to catch it here and just essentially I'm throwing. Come on here. Yeah, I get this leg cleared out of the way. Or if it's a backhand, I kind of replace my feet, but I want my, my uh, left leg to get out of the way. So I essentially have all the space in the world to make a throw. On the ground, Swanson on an E, spins it to second, they turn two. The most comfortable feed you can get is a ball that's on the way up. It's yeah. easier to turn. You get guys sinking the ball heavy down, balls around your hips. Like, you know, I definitely still expect to turn that ball well, but anything that's on its way up is just so much easier to transfer. It's like you want to throw like a catchable ball. Like right? a catchable like, ball. You yeah. know, you talk about like, people talk about like Brady when he was as a quarterback. Right. Like, it's like he always had the perfect touch. Like everything would just always like stick in guys' hands. It's kind of the same thing. Like you don't want to throw it so firm that it gets on a guy, right. yep. but you don't want to throw it soft to where like I said, either sinks yep. or it kind of like won't stick. Cause you want to, you know, your turn too. You want to be quick. So Absolutely. you want to kind of stick in, stick in your pocket so you can make that transfer. And what about you as, at, at, at second and Nico, you're in your position uh, with the double play coming from, from the left side. Yeah, I think uh, the first thing that I always think about is, is positioning right like, right if it's a righty I'm gonna have to come at a little bit of a flatter angle I mean they always talk about oh an ideal world like you know you're getting this way it's like you don't have time the right. big leagues is fast so right. so what's with, the flatter angle with the, with the righty I'm I'm more you know shaded a little bit towards the six hole okay so I'm essentially almost coming at it more from this angle yeah. okay. I'm gonna be playing right here for a lot of right-handed hitters this year like you're still all over the place like I'm feeding him on the run coming straight across the field, yeah. maybe even wow. coming from this side. Like it's still, the position for me still spans from here all the way to the other side of the hole. So, so. you can play that far over still. Yep. As long as we're on this side of the base. As long so. as you're on that side. Oh, what a play. Excelente jugada de Nico Horner. Left side, right side, Nico Horner is everywhere. Yeah, so right here is about straight up positioning how we've done it for a right-handed hitter. But double played that, right? Yep. And you come through, boom. And you always come on the back side too. You always, come, always come on the back side. This will be the third feed I've the ever given feed. to Dansby. <laughs> but yeah, I mean. You're so easy in though. In simple though, but what we said earlier, in simple, like you give a good feed with some pace, it doesn't really matter where it is because yeah. 
ideally it's going to be kind of on that uphill um, trajectory with some decent pace and then it's just my job to get it from here to there. A lot of times with a right-handed hitter up you're going to find yourself closer to the base a lot of the time and you know that would we talked about feeding through a guy and having her throw, uh, feed with life but once you're getting closer like an underhand where you can just kind of pop it up and put it on a platter for him that's going to be nice. If I'm with a lefty more especially once I'm further over to the pull side um, I'm working a lot more Backhand, that backhand, feeding like that. It's more powerful, and for yeah. me, it's just something that syncs up better. Um, getting from here and then under um, is more for the, the the closer plays to second base when I can just pop it up for him. But I feel really comfortable with the the option feed, and uh, gives me some some length, and I can really gain ground doing that too. You turn a lot more double <laughs> plays when you can backhand feed. When you can backhand. Yeah. So, Nico, talk about the challenges of moving back to the left side of the base. You know what I mean? You, yeah. From shortstop, you know, you, you know you got to keep your feet moving. You got to do some different yeah. things. But second base, we was talking a little earlier, is like you can get flat-footed at times. Absolutely. I mean, I've, the two biggest things I'd point out would be you move left to right a lot right. more at second base, feeding double plays. And that's, you know, the game my whole life has been right to left, whether it's thrown to first base, the game's moving that direction. Yeah. And so choosing your hops going left to right can be a little bit different. And then... Footwork around second base on turns, I think it is a more challenging turn than short, because short you get all your momentum going back that way. So, you know, having your back to the base and being efficient and making clean throws, I think. And charging the ball a little bit more? Is that is that something that comes into play? So, yeah, so from short, I mean, I'm always on the attack. Right. And I think um, the biggest thing for me playing second base in the past is, is sticking with that, just trusting that that's who I am and always being on the attack, choosing your hop. Dansby plays the game really well on the run, and you know, I'm the same way. Um, it's easy at second base to get flat-footed, and all of a sudden you're just kind of <laughs> flipping balls over there. So, um, yeah, Absolutely. staying aggressive, staying an athlete always. Um, and like we talked about with the positioning, you know, there's right. still, if I'm positioned up the middle and there's a backhand, I'm playing on the left side of the infield and um, having to make some strong throws still too, so that's definitely still a part of the game. That's the way to end it, nice and smooth. Yeah. Hey, I appreciate y'all, fellas, man. This, this, this is awesome for you. Get out here with some two of the best in the game. Appreciate you know, Get some information I never knew about. So uh, look forward to watching y'all this year and have some fun with it. No doubt. Thank you.